Matcha is the Asian Art Museum's monthly mixer series. It's June through November, the first Thursday of the month from 5 to 9. And each month is guided by a different theme. And depending on the theme, there will be a unique constellation of performance, music, art demonstrations, hands-on activities, multimedia, food tastings. And what we try to do is really connect people with Asian art and culture. Tonight is the matcha kickoff. It is June 5th, and the theme is healing arts. And so we have all around the museum and the galleries uh, practitioners doing demonstrations of different Asian healing arts. So we have Ayurvedic head massage, which is a tradition from India. We have Thai foot massage. We have various uh, modalities from China. Um, that includes Chinese Tuina massage. We have acupuncture, cupping demonstration. Um, we also have Japan represented in Reiki and Shiatsu. And on the ground floor we have Chinese tea tastings and Qigong. We've just got a lot going on to really communicate healing arts to our visitors. Boiling water on green tea is way too hot. You've got to cool it down. There's, like I was saying before, there's 500 different types of oils that you'll find inside the teas. So that actually you want to, when you're drinking it, you want to find, oh, this tastes like a vegetable or this tastes like this that I've actually had before, asparagus or something like that. So here's the torcha. This is your age, also fermented tea. This is what the Chinese call a black tea. This one is very, very medicinal. It's good for blood, good for digestion, also good for cholesterol. I wouldn't add any sugar or cream to this one. In my opinion, you can really grow to really appreciate this. Now, it does have this kind of earthy, strong-like flavor. But over time, you really, some people really, really enjoy it. It actually is one of my favorite teas. Well, we got a nice tea taste. Pretty strong, you know, it's a new, new flavor. Well, I'm practicing Tuina right now. Actually, I'm practicing sitting. But uh, we're going to practice Tuina. Tuina comes from China. It's actually the child of a system called Anmo, which is press rub. And Tuina means pushing and grasping. So pushing and grasping the medium of Qi. It's based on the 12 meridian system, just like the acupuncture system, um, just like the shiatsu system. They're all based on solid and hollow organs. So we harmonize the meridians um, via particular points and help the function of different organs. Well, you, first you start contact with their spirit. Uh, you connect with them as they walk in or as they approach the table. There's a certain essence that is communicated in the Yellow Emperor's classic on internal medicine. It's a concept called uh, divine penetrating insight. Uh, and so it's this idea that when the practitioner clearly experiences the person as they experience themselves, that in and of itself is where the transformation takes place. Mm. Yeah. So there's a saying, tongues of tongues of tongues of tongues. Where there is pain, there is obstructed flow. Where there is obstructed flow, there is pain. So what we're doing is finding these points of interface to harmonize the relationship between the meridian and the organ. So orthopedically, we're just breaking up myofascial adhesions, but in terms of energetics, we're helping the function of organs. You know, initially, a lot of these modalities were shamanistic practices. So a lot of the way that pathology is seen as malevolent spirits, you know, invading the body. And so we're essentially mediums through which we can communicate with the divine and exercise malevolent spirits by activating the righteous chi inside of each person. The Bay Area in general is very, is a very much a hot spot for Asian medicine. So there are a number of sc acupuncture schools in the area, and there's also there's the Acupressure Institute in Berkeley. There's you know all sorts of you know, different massage modalities that people learn in this area that you don't really get in other parts of the country. Well, I got the scalp treatment, and it was wonderful. There, there was so much tugging. I can feel the blood circulate. And there, yeah, yeah. I mean, you don't get that every day, not even at your hairdresser, so. <laughs> Uh, no, I was actually pretty interested in trying it. I never tried it before. And my insurance happens to cover acupuncture, but I didn't want to go do it unless it was convenient. And it's worth it because my neck and back areas are really loosening up, and I can feel that it makes a difference. So we have here an array of Chinese herbs. 
for a number of different um, conditions. So when a patient comes to the acupuncture clinic, they will see an acupuncturist where they will describe what is um, their problem or their ailment. The acupuncturist will then make an assessment of their overall condition. Uh, the patient will receive probably acupuncture treatment and maybe an herbal prescription which would contain some or maybe many of these herbs. So they have a variety of functions. We can treat things like common cold, allergies, um, all the way up to more serious things like scarlet fever, cancer. Um, I believe we'll be doing drop-in tongue and pulse diagnosis, so feel free to stop on that. So do I just stick my tongue out at you? Just stick your tongue out, that's right. Oh, it's a good tongue. Uh, yeah. <laughs> And then, yeah, one center crack right across like this, and overall, it has a purplish tinge to it. So matcha is a really fun experience where visitors of all ages can interact with artists and performers and as a public program uh, it tries to engage different communities and also expose demographics who might be interested in Asian art and culture but yet haven't actually made the step to come to the museum. So matcha is a, a, a program that offers samplings of Asian art and culture and depending on the theme People can sample food, people can sample music or dance, or hop on a docent tour and have an in-depth look at an art object in the gallery.